Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time, we came to the village, town, city, whatever of Zozo, the city of thieves, where everyone is a liar and there's monsters. Because monsters. This time, well, we're going to continue climbing this tower, which... because reasons? Okay, I'll be honest here, I totally missed talking to the person who tells us that there's definitely no girl on top of the tower. AKA, there's a girl is probably on top of the tower. Or, well, let's be honest here, who- what other girl could it be? It must be Terra! I mean, this is an RPG! Let's- let's, um, let's keep climbing. Up and up and up we go! When we stop, well, I'm sure some people know. Thundra? Wait, what? What the hell do you mean you can use magic? That is clearly... Just... Come on! That's kind of bullshit. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's fix this. Um... Pure. There we go. And up we continue. Come to think of it, I don't have anyone with running... Well, I do have some with... Well... Same difference. Uh, I don't have anyone with uh, running shoes on. Sprint shoes. Whatever. They're the same thing. Mm, that's a good combo. I don't want to disrupt it. That's just plain good. Mm. You know what? I don't need running shoes that badly. <laughs> okay then. Okay, so, 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 let's keep climbing, because that's the sort of place this is. Freaking towers, man. I believe we want to go in here. Yeah, we do, because Burning Fist, which is a weapon for Sabin, and much, no, I said weapon, not relic, and much like his new Blitz, this deals fire damage, but it's way harder! So we're going to put it on him, because we are not... Im as far as I know, nothing in here is resistant to fire. So, that said, let's climb a little further. Well, we only have one place to go from here, but be warned. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. But be warned. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what will happen. He just checked his... Yeah. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. Which, of course, means he did. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? But everyone in Zozo's a liar. Including this asshole. Wow. What is with all these people who are just built like freaking tanks? It just, it just doesn't seem right. Let's use Blizzard. Let's Steal. Let's use Blitz. Um... Damn it! Oh well. I don't need his other wet thing. He has two potential steals. One of them is the thing I just got, the other one is a Thieves Bracer. I think the Thieves Bracer is a lot more useful, to be honest, but I already have one, so... It- oh. What? But he's not immune to it. Wait, let me try that again. Oh, I just stole twice, by accident. Now the thing with the chainsaw is, if you use it against something that is immune to death effects, it will not always work, because it is, you know, a death effect. That said...
If it does, if the death effect does not proc, it'll still deal regular damage. Oops, I must have screwed that up. Oh, hello! That is odd, though. Oh, I got the death effect. That is odd, though, because according to my notes, this guy's not actually, um, immune to death-causing effects, but, you know, apparently my notes are wrong. So, go figure. I can't say that's all that surprising, to be honest. Okay, well, that's, that's annoying. Let's, let's fix that. Blizzard... And Locke can just throw a high potion at Sabin. Oh, he's not dead yet. That's disappointing. I mean, expected, but disappointing. Okay, um... Maybe I should use the drill on him, actually. Okay, he just jumped. That's... that's a bit of a bother. Oh, you know, I should've healed the Celez. Oh well, too late now. Okay, hopefully he doesn't land on Celez. He did not. He landed on the guy with the counterattack. I cannot complain about that. Not one bit. Okay, so. Since I haven't mentioned it, this guy has like around 3000 HP. He is actually pretty beefy. I mean, well, I just killed him. He certainly isn't that hard, but he's probably one of the stronger bosses we have fought thus far, if not one of the hardest. It helps that we have our cho choice of characters, so we can build our overpower party to our, you know, however we want, really. Uh, that's probably the better of his two drops. He can drop that or a Thieves Knife. Well. Yeah, I already have a Thief's Knife. I don't really need two. Although... Yeah, well... Yeah, I don't need two. Whereas the Twisted... What does this even do? Uh... On second thought, maybe this wasn't better. Hmm... Well, it doesn't matter. Not really. Anyway! Let's continue to climb. Because we've now reached the top! And there's stuff in here, but first, we are going to go to the either side. Because boxes! For me, sandals, for more haste power. And... An X potion! But what could be at the end of this hallway? It's Terra. And she's still in her strange, Esper-like form. Terra? Terra? She's frightened. Who are you, old man? Well, just read his nameplate. He's 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 Rama. Uh anyway. This girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she alright? So, her name is Tara. Tara, you say? Interesting. Ooh, what is she doing? Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, 
I am Rama, the Esper. Lightning God Rama. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you. Without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and espers once lived side by side. Really, your grandma sounds like a pretty smart lady. But then again, you also took up treasure hunting. I wonder where you got that from. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. Again, like the treasure hunting. <laughs> No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth! Humans and espers used to live together in harmony. At least, until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi? Yes, that's what you just said. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magic powers extracted from the Espers. After the meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm, humans who knew of the Espers and their powers, and thus begun the hunt. For Gestal, the leader of men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army! A little bit too fast. As soon as we realized what was happening, he erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. We, that is, not he. Oh, now I can click. Those were, who were captured are now the Empire's Magitech Research Facility. Now in that mean, that is, being drained of their power. I narrowly escaped the same fate, and now I am here with you. She seems to have calmed down a bit. I called Terra here to me when I sensed she had lost control. She responded to that call. So Terra's an Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind, who are trapped in Gestal's Magitech Research Facility, may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? 
the research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. You can't drain an Esper's powers by force. That weakens them. Only when we become Magicite can our powers be transferred in full. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite, so that I may lend you my strength. Mm. Magicite is an Esper's power in his purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that is left behind. But... These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire. And I will give you my power as well. And he dies. Well, he kills himself. More or less. That's kind of grim. Old man, you're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself into magicite. He gave up his life to help us. If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken, and life will fade from Earth. You must stop them. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Obtained Rama. Siren. Kirin. And Kate's safe. Here's how this is gonna work. It's not in the relics. It's not? I thought it was in the relics. Wait, how do I put on the magic site? I don't remember! Oh, just this way. Okay. Here's how it works. Each These are summons. They're espers, right? So each one does this. However, if we equip one, we learn stuff. The acquisition rate is how many points you get towards it per battle. Once you reach 100, you get the ability. So Thunder takes 10 battles to learn. Each mana site also has a level up thing. That So you gain something in that stat, however much it says, every time you level up with that magic set equipped it. Roma gives stamina and thunder. Go figure. Kirin does cure stuff, and but has no level up bonus. Siren gives you plus 10% HP per level, or when you level up. And a little bit of fire and a bunch of status effects. And Kate's the is more status effects and magic. Now, do, here's the thing. Do not equip people based on this stuff first. You should, when selecting your espers, always think of this first. This is the most important part. This, this is because Eventually, we'll be able to go to, back to the Velt. In the Velt, you gain, well, acquisition points 
for learning spells, but you do not gain experience points, meaning that bad level up abilities do not matter in the Velt. The Velt is the best place to learn magic. And the and the way you really min-max your characters is with the level up bonuses. Well, there's other ways too, but yeah. Now in this case, in this case, I want Sabin to have, uh, not Siren, I want Sabin to have Kate's seat. I want... Locke and Celez to have Roma and Siren. I don't really care which has which, though. And I want S Edgar to have Kirin. This is because I care e about Edgar getting bonuses on leveling up the least. Now, as the game goes on, we're going to get more Magicite, which means more Espers, which means more spells, and also more level-up bonuses. So, that's how this is going to go. But for now, well, we're stuck with what we have. On that note, Terra, wait for us. We'll be back for you. Indeed we will. Maybe not next time, but, well... Oh hey, and these guys are here now. So you know that happened. But not Shadow, because we didn't recruit him. Hmm... Everyone's here? I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. This is gonna be a little bit longer than normal, because I want to go down first. So the Empire has been draining magic from Espers. Down it jumps. Slez, was all of that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But... I've heard rumors to that effect. Then I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We best split up again, we still need to, to beef up our defenses in Narch. That would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. So I believe Slez is required for this part. Um, no, not alone. Don't worry, I'll go with her. Locke! I may, it may not hurt to have a few more people along. Oh, do I need him as well, then? I mean, I'm just curious. No, yeah, I need to take him. Okay, so... I still want Sabin. Uh, and I do want Edgar, but for a different reason than before. I would actually sort of prefer to have Shadow than Edgar right now, except the same reason that I have Edgar having Kirin in the first place. I would rather wait until I have more espers. Because I don't want Shadow getting crappy level ups at this point. I mean, that's sort of an issue, to be honest, with these two as well. It's not an issue with Sabin. Sabin's getting magic, which is all he needs. Magic and HP later on. <laughs> that's it. But yeah, it's sort of an issue with these two, but it's not really a big one. Um, because, well, honestly, for Locke, I just want him to be able to steal. After that, I don't really care. Slez, it uh, might be a bit, of, it's a little bit of an issue, but it's a, well, I have to take her. So, you know, what are you going to do? 
And even if I didn't have to take her, to be honest, at least for now, I would, I'm sort of compelled to do so for at least the next five to ten battles until somebody else can learn to use Cure. Um, so unfortunately, these guys are still sitting out. Next time, next time, I'll take them with me. Actually, what will happen is when, basically, the next time I go back to the Velt, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with these two. Um, but that is, I'm not there yet. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll just head back to Narsh. Oh, there's one more thing I should mention, actually, and that is this. Though I said that I would wanted to go grab Shadow, I'm not sure if, I act, if that's actually an option right now. I assume that it is, but it might not be. I don't know. Anyway. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the southern continent. They've closed down all the harbors, so there aren't even any ships sailing there anymore. The town of Dodor to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's Gil. Lock. Yes, um? Why are you coming with me? <laughs> hmm. Well. There's a rumor about that legendary treasure being there and all. I just want to have a look around! Yeah, I'm sure. And on that note, why don't we talk to this ghost? Okay. Okay, then. Yeah, that would happen. Just screw you guys. Man, I don't care. I'm gonna need to use. I'm gonna visit an inn in the next town anyway, so. So, you know, I just don't care. Just die. I sh oh, I did do that to everyone. Okay. Ice! Water! Crossbow! I don't think they'll see the crossbow, to be honest. <laughs> Luck gained a level, and notice that I gained 2 AP. So, as I was saying, just since this happened anyway, I may as well explain it. Uh, you have, uh, Kate's right? Yeah, now, he's at 40% for Confused because it's time 7, because that's a multiplier to your AP gain. Okay then, now that that's out of the way, this episode has gone way longer than I wanted it to. Uh, long episode or not, so, until next time... When we journey back to Jador, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.